in the second place we are going to take inner join left table reject and what this means is that if we consider table A and table B these circles so the left table is considered only for the rejected records so it means maybe let's try to understand from these two tables we have five records in this table and six records in this table when we make a join with these two tables we found out this these three entries in the first these, these three entries they are matching but what we want right now is only the after performing the join give us the rejected records from the left table and what what does we mean by that what do we mean by that that's basically customer id 4 and 5 these three are matching but these two are not matching and that, that's that's how i name it inner join left table reject apply inner join and get left table reject items and we have another one which we discuss in the next video and that's going to be inner join right table reject so after applying the join we are going to see the right table and the rejected records will be these last three records which is order id four five and six so let's move to talent and see how we can perform this inner join left table reject so once again we're going to use those two uh, same data sets one is the customers data and one is the orders data when we supply it to the dmap component and the tricky thing is going to be handled here inside dmap component basically everything that you want to every single join that you want to perform is going to be managed from inside of dmap component so we need to understand the input side and basically the output side so we take this table and this table we perform a join using customer id we select here the option this is going to be inner join and then what we want is the data only from the left table so you see only only these records are pushed on to the right side so we want only these records from the left table but the ones which are rejected after performing the inner join and this one we cannot do on the left side we do it on the right side here we have the option catch lookup inner join reject so after performing inner join show us the rejected records from this left table and then we apply and then we are going to run this and let's see the result great so this is basically the result and we can see the data is only till from the customer id till zip so that's only the customers table and as i told you only those records from customer table which are rejected so we can see only record four and five completely so these two records they are rejected after performing the inner joins because these three records they have a matching id here in the in the first table so that's how we can perform this uh, left table reject inner join